Hey guys, <clears throat> welcome back to another tutorial, this time for Pencil 2D. Um, I just made a video to show you guys how to download it, and um, now I'm going to show you guys how to use this. Uh, it's a bit different than the um, Pencil 2D version that I had for the other tutorial, um, which I made a long time ago, so I'll remake a new tutorial on this version. Um, Alright, so to get started, um, <clears throat> we'll start with the tools right here. Um, it's like any other program, you have the pencil, eraser, you have the select tool, um, so you can select then use the arrow keys to move around. Um, so yeah. Um, then you have this button which is the like to select it, so if you did this, you can move it around. Alright, um, next you have a pen tool, like that, um, you have the hand tool, this is just to move around, um, you have a line tool um, to create forms and you can change the width here with the, this, um, and I forgot to mention that you can also change the width of your strokes for any object here. So, I have a pressure sensitivity though, so I can change it. Um, Alright, next is the bucket tool. You can fill in areas of your artwork. Um, next is the color pigment. Uh, it'll, like, if you go over color here, yeah. if you go over color, yeah, you can select the color. So, let's say you were working. Um, on something and you want to go back to this red you just click this hover over it click on it and now you have the <coughs> right, next is the paintbrush um, it's just a bigger version of the um, pen and the pencil um, but if you go lighter usually it'll make the um, color also like thinner and so we'll go into the color palette I already showed a bit of it, but I'll go more in depth now. So we'll just take the brush and we'll make it on a new layer. Okay, so now this is where you're gonna select your colors on this wheel. Um, you have this wheel to select the color, and here you have the intensity or like the the hue if you want it black or more of the colored hue, white. Um, you can go to gray. You can also change change it on here. Um, you also have RGB, uh, red, green, blue, um, to make your own colors if you wanted to do that. But like, that's up to you if you wanted to use either or. It's two different options. Um, but yeah. So once you have that, you also have your color palette. Um, so this is where you can add or you can choose right from your palette and draw with and then if you don't have if you don't want to use one of these colors you can add a random color add it and it'll add it right here and you can go back to it on your on this file so you can have a palette for characters and stuff um, yeah you can change it to uh, a grid if you like this better um, small swatch this is what I usually like to use um, but yeah it's right here if you wanted to change it um, so now we're going to get into the um, layers so like any other um, animation program you have layers and if you don't know what a layer is it's basically used to divide your work up into sections so that you can uh, like it'll be all on the same uh, animation but you'll have different sections so you can change the background without changing the character so like um, this is this uh, layer is the one with the character right there and this one will say is the background so now if I do this um, I'll take a lighter color 
Um, if, if I go over it, I you still see the character because I'm in the background layer right now, and the character is in the sketch layer, which is on top. So if I move the sketch layer under it, you won't be able, like it'll be under the background. So that's basically how file uh, layers work. Use it to have multiple characters like in the same animation and you can edit them one at a time. All right, so next you have the play button, um, which plays your animation. This is what I made just real quick a while ago. Um, you can stop it. This one loops the animation, so now it'll just play that. Um, you can change the range of the animation that it plays here. Um, after that, you have these buttons. All right, so now for the frames per second. So if you don't know what that is, um, Animations and movies run by frames per second, which is how many frames, how many images you see in a second. Right now I have it to 24. Um, normal animation, like Disney and stuff, they run 24. Um, 24 to 30 frames per second is usually what you run on. Um, but you can really make it any size you want. Uh, it's really up to you. Alright, so the last tool that I wanted to show you guys is the onion skin. Um, so you can basically um, toggle it with these buttons. You can toggle it here and here. Um, and you can see the two different colors. Whenever you do it, you won't see a color because these are the colors for it. So we'll go to this one. We'll go here. Um, red will be the frame before. Blue would be the frame after, um, but I don't have anything, so I won't put it. So um, I forgot. If you don't know what onion skin is, it basically shows the layer before and after. So I'll just do one at a time. Um, the red is the frame before um, this one. So this frame is showing in red on this frame, um, and then. To make new frames, um, here I'll get rid of this one. To make a new frame, you just go to the wherever you want, do new frame right here, and then it'll delete whatever's on this layer only. Remember what I said about layers? So it'll just delete the stuff on the layer that you're on. Um, you can make frames for every layer, so you can have background or other people moving at different frames than the actual um, than other characters so all right thanks for watching this tutorial on pencil 2d um, i hope you guys enjoyed if you did please leave a like and don't forget to subscribe